It's been long enough. I, I think it's time. I think it's time. It's time to return. I don't know what the fuck James is talking about. And whatever James is saying is some real heavy shit. He meant that shit that he just said, boy. Some water, fam. Just 
just move your your body. body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Let's toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Damn. Damn. Just raise, raise your, your glass. glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, raise, toast, toast. then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. You can do it. it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink Drink your water. Take Take your your breath. Lift and pull. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. All right, family, it is such, it is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty. (laughs) The home of the stubborn minority. The place where your hustle Builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hot Tim, and of course you know that this is <laughs> a Heart of a Simba production, all day, every day. Of course you know we want to give all of the Ujima babies a round of applause. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't stop. All right. From there, family. From there. Where we gonna go? Where we gonna go? Um, We gonna move to let you know that we always strive, strive, strive to blow up. Y'all gotta excuse me, family. I am kind of unfocused right now because I did something. I'm trying to experiment with something and it just showed me something that was very dis it was very confusing for me but anyway mm, mm. but it keeps on this damn thing i'm gonna have to come back and, and i'm gonna come back and work on that i'm gonna come back and work on that <clears throat> because they are constantly They're constantly trying to get me to do video views. And the issue is, we don't be wanting, I don't care about the, I want, I want clicks. I don't want no goddamn video views. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go and look at this and and reset it. Because, you know, they, they, they just caught up on, you know what I'm saying? I, I want, I want to all right, maybe I already paid for it. I don't know. I go back. But anyway, family, I'm kind of just discombobulated. 
right? Today's show, we're going to be talking about Will and Ujima. I ain't talking about your cousin Will or your friend Will or your brother Will. I'm talking about willpower. Willpower, Ujima, and the purpose of our community, right? So we're going to be talking about that, right? But before we get to that, let's go on and let's cover some news real quick. Let's cover some news. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, can't do it from there. I don't want everybody all up in the Giami business. You know what I'm saying? Get up out the Giami sphere. There we go. All right, we're going to go on. We're going to make this quick transition. Let's transition. We're going to um, we gonna uh, fade it in. Well, let's do the ancient buildings. I ain't seen them in a while. Give me time to scroll down a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we we have some stuff that we're posting up. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just real quick looks. Um, the sixth mass extinction really has begun, scientists warn in newly published study. And what I said is, what do you think? I want your thoughts on this. If you could take some time and comment on it. You know what I'm saying? Those of you that had that time, you know, go and write a little bit of something on it. Let us know what you think. You know what I'm saying? The next mass extinction, you know what I'm saying? And then I, I reference a, a movie that's real popular right now. I'm saying, remember, just don't look up. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? I want you to look at this and see what's going on. They talk about a six mass extinction. They're talking about a lot of, lot, you know, a lot of these stuff. So go on. I'm, I'm posting it up for you, could, you, you to, to look at, to read, to share. Damn, I didn't even drink all my water. I got so caught up. Can I drink my water real quick? Can I drink my water real quick? Okay. Man, y'all can do better than that. I'm just I'm just trying to drink the water. I got caught up. I, I, I'm sorry. Now, water is done. Now we keep the mind moving. Let's go. Um, all right. Next news item. Let's look at using this to build our tribes. How the 8020 rule can revolutionize your productivity. Let's look at it. Real quick, just real quick. You're like, why are you looking at the mass extinction? I want you to go look at the mass extinction and then throw some comments up. Let's talk about it. You often feel as though you spend all day working hard but have nothing to show for it. Does your workflow feel out of balance? Then the 80-20 rule could help you find your flow. Here's how. What is the 80-20 rule? The 80-20 rule, also known as Pareto's principle, is the prediction model that can be used to determine what factor in your workflow contributes the most to your productivity. According to the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of your outputs usually come from 20% of your inputs. Therefore, if you can find and identify which 20% of your workflow contributes to the majority of, the, of your output, you can then streamline your workflow to make your to, to make you more product, productive. What are the benefits of the 80-20 rule? Now, y'all gonna read that, but I wanted to share that with you, right? 20% of your work gets 80% 80, 80 of the output, right? But anyway, um, I mean, but that rule, that Pareto rule fits a lot of different, um, a lot of different circumstances or it can fit a lot of different circumstances, right? Um, I just want you to be aware of it. Those of you that might not be aware of it, go on. Y'all go on, um, research that if you want. Um, last, no, this is not the last one, the quest for free energy. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been hyping you up about this and this is something that we need to kind of quest on in our community because, I mean, all the solar energy that's hitting these streets and we ain't getting a piece of that. You know what I'm saying? We just want to wet our beak just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just, just you know, just a, just just a little bit. Just want to wet the tip of them. You know, you know. Um, we need to get in on this energy thing. But you know, I'm seeing unfortunately greed would not allow such a thing, right? You know, I mean, because once you free energy, once energy is free, right? Society's controls over you are going to be somewhat limited if everybody got the i mean we like once again i want y'all to think about it your whole life is 
is based around energy consumption and energy use. Food provides energy, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, if you got energy that's able to, you know, that that, that regenerates itself and fuels everything, you know what I'm saying? How's capitalism going to work? Capitalism is about controlling those resources that produce energy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. The most stable bills in your life, right? The most stable bills in your life is around energy. Electric, gas, you know what I'm saying? And then all the shit that you have around you requires some energy to be made. So you, you're paying part, part of that energy. So if all that energy is free, everything's going to get cheaper. And you're not going to have to work as hard. Come on now. Uh, you know, I mean... I, unfortunately, I don't think greed will allow us to, to break through this. Last thing I want you to look at is robots, war, and China. China says world largest quad robot is ready for action. Can be a game changer in a remote high altitude. And the words after that, high altitude war zones. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I mean, there's a lot of stuff popping off in the world. Get you and Guzzo Saba Challenge books out, family, so that you get ready for what's coming up next. Um, of course, those of you that's been here on the journey, you already know. You already know what it is. We are about to do that. Uh, you know, I'm going to give y'all a second. Get, you know, get yourself together. Get your book out. Oh, man, I forgot to send out the proverbs. I feel so bad. I forgot to send out the proverb to uh, the fam um, on our email list. So I'm about to pull a proverb up right now. We are on the 19th. So let me see if I can find something that goes along with that. <sighs> let me go 37. Hmm. Nope. Uh, what's the day? 19th? Let's try 19. I did a derivative of 10. <laughs> from a uh, number piece. So, there we go. All right, here we go, here we go. It's the proverb, 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 when his neighbor is harvesting. I said it wrong the first time. So, y'all got it. That's the proverb of the day. Tell me, what does it mean to you? It's the proverb, proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. The proverb of the day. A lazy man will never, will, a lazy man will remember. He has not planned it. When his neighbor is harvesting. Ooh. Wow. Okay, cool. That's a nice one. All right, let's go on. Let's get the... It's time for Folk Tales. Folk, folk Tales. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Folk, folk, folk Tales. Folk Tales. Family. Folk get the message. Here you go. When man first saw the camel, he was so frightened at this vast size that he ran away. After a time, perceiving the meekness and gentleness of the beast's temper, he summoned courage enough to approach him. Soon afterwards, observing that he was an animal altogether deficient in spirit, he assumed such boldness as to put a bridle in his mouth and to let a child drive him. Wow. Listen to the moral. You serves to overcome dread. Use serves to um overcome drink. Get the lesson in that family. All right, give me that. Folk tale. 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 Folk
Alright, Folktale. Folktale of the day for those that was looking for the title. The title is The Camel. The Camel. Yes. Alright, so um now it's time for us to have our discussion, family. Get your get your book out. Um I'm about to go to the discussion. So anime, could you set everything up for me nice so that I could go on and and get everything. I want to hit it out the park today. If that's at all possible in your world. Can you bless a brother and get things running? Can I get the war horn, please? Okay. Can I get my theme music? Thinking I'm thinking all the time. All right, I sent out the email. Once again, I want to apologize to all of the family out there who is receiving the email. I forgot to include the proverb of the day. I rushed through everything. I got you the pretty pictures, but I didn't do the proverb of the day. And also, I wasn't able to do the crossword puzzles because I was having problems at the adventures yesterday. And um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do one today. So I was thinking about possibly compiling stuff and doing it once a week. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Here we go. Rant of the day. The rant of the day. Here we go. We are talking about will and Ujima. Willpower. Ujima and the purpose of our community. So I was, you know, I woke up. I was like, all right. Got to get the show ready. We on Ujima. I want to keep, I want to keep the lessons. I want to keep the rants in line with the principles for as long as I possibly can. I always try to pull out a lesson in the in, in, in the principle. So I was thinking, I was like, man, all right, it's because my first alarm go off at three o'clock. My second alarm go off at three thirty. I get up and I and I struggle towards the tub and I start looking over the news and I said, damn, Ujima, what does Ujima need to work with? In Giame, we know that Ujima works hand in hand. Ujima needs respect to work. So this is why in M7, we highlight the principle of respect. But I was like, something else. It's something else that Ujima needs. We're talking about collective work. And I'm thinking about how I'm struggling, you know, in, in these mornings, only, you know, um, during the weekdays, what we call the weekdays, how I'm struggling to get up. Um, when it's time for the adventure so I could get to get to the adventure on time. And I started thinking, I said, damn, will, will power. You know what I'm saying? Because especially yesterday, man, I woke up, I, I was dreaming. See, and it's it's funny how how you think can affect your sleep. Because I was asleep, but I was dreaming that I was awake. I don't know if you ever experienced that. So I woke up tired. I was very, very, very tired yesterday. I woke up literally tired and pushed through with willpower. So I said, all right, cool, the show today. Because in order for Ujima to work, there has to be a will to work. And I had to look up what the will was about, right? So now this is what I came up with for today. So check it out, willpower. And Ujima are two foundational principles in African philosophy. The will something, right? Willpower is the capacity to decide what to do. The capacity to decide what to do. The capa- I'm a, I Just think about that. Your will is your capacity to decide what to do. Ujima is about collective work and responsibility, where we each contribute our part and accept shared responsibility for the outcome. Willpower is the individual's ability and strength to decide what to do. It's an active decision-making process that requires effort, drive, and determination. It's a choice that comes from within us. When we act according to will, it has value. When we don't it's of no use of all, at, at all. So, you, I mean, like I said, we all have willpower, right? And the reason that some of us come out on top 
in life in some in, in, in some instances. The reason some of us are getting things done is because we are directing. We are we we are we not only we're making up our mind, we're 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 channeling our willpower towards what it is we want, but we're taking action. Those of you who have an inkling of willpower, or you may have as much willpower as anybody else, you just are not acting on it. You might not have the courage to push through. You might be more concerned about how the rest of the world is going. Look at the decisions you made. How are they going to look at me? You get up out of that. It's a choice that comes from within us. When we act according to will, it has value. When we don't, it is of no use of all, at all. Willpower is our own personal power to choose what we want or don't want. A lot of people think they lack willpower because they often find themselves saying, I should have instead of just doing what they need to do. Caught in the past or scared of the future. This shows a lack of commitment on their part because they're not willing to act on their choice People who are committed take action right away and make things happen. Sound familiar? Make things happen? You know what I'm saying? I, I try to use that Giammi lingo when I can. Others tend to come, tends to be more wishy-washy in nature. The will comes from within us, but it needs a purpose or objective that drives us toward taking action. Something that motivates us enough so that we can make progress towards our goals despite any obstacles or opposition that may stand in our way. All right. Now, the will, right, is when we make up our mind and we focus, right? When we and we are able to 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 decide to do something. So will is like the arrow. You know what I'm saying? Our body is like the bow that has to and, and you know what I'm saying, in a sense, we have to, you know what I'm saying, we have to pull the bow to make it youthful. Other than that, it's just, it's just useless. Many of us are sitting on, sitting on and not using our willpower. We have given our will to others. We want other people to make decisions. We, we're scared of being wrong. We're scared of giving the wrong answer. We're scared of looking foolish. But like I told y'all a long time ago, in order for us to really build, we're going to need people that don't mind looking foolish, that don't mind um, making mistakes, that don't mind people ridiculing them. That's what our culture needs. You know what I'm saying? Because a culture insulates and protects those that serve it as it starts to grow. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 it protects, it shields, it nurtures, it promotes but you have to be willing to lay down for it. You have to be willing to be humble. You have to be willing to push through and have the willpower to get shit done. All right. So, you know, um, here, here's some of the questions because I'm trying to do questions and I'm trying to do points on. So today we're going to talk about how to strengthen the willpower. But before we get to that, those of you that are in the Goose Saba Challenge, I want you to wrestle with these questions. I want you to play with these questions. I want you to roll around with them for a minute because we got to have, we got to ask those questions that make you think because this is what the whole process is about. I want you to learn to use your real weapon as a warrior. You know what I'm saying? The real weapon, a sword and a gun are maybe the third Third level weapons, family. The the major weapon is your mind, your spirit, the, the, the five parts of your being are your first weapons. And questions help us sharpen these weapons. Now, here's the first question. Get ready. Y'all ready? What is willpower and how have you used it in the last month? What is willpower to you? Because we, you know, I kind of defined it up there, but you know, you might have a different definition. What is willpower and how have you used it in the last month? Next question. Do you consider yourself to have strong willpower? If so, what do you, what do you use it for? Can you write down proof that you have strong willpower? You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, because if you say, yeah, I got strong willpower, what, what are you using it with to show that your willpower is strong? And how constructive is what you use your willpower for to your people? That ain't even on there. That's extra right there. Um, next one. What have you done to build your willpower in the last month? Or do you think your will? I mean, like I said, it's like a muscle. We, you, you, you got you, you got in order for your willpower to get stronger. We got to work on it. It's a muscle, and and in, in, in some studies they say that is we have only a certain amount. So we have to build up our endurance to use our willpower. You understand what I'm saying? And family, many of us are draining our willpower on things that we have not put on autopilot, right? This is why I keep on telling you the best life is, is the best life is lived by engagement with systematic processes because it puts certain things on autopilot. You no longer need willpower. When you first start trying to get out of a habit like smoking, you, you need the, 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 the habit, you need the willpower at first, but you need to, you need to create other habits around you not smoking so that now it becomes an automatic thing. So that you, now you don't, the willpower you use using to stop smoking, you can start focusing it on other things. You have a limited amount of willpower and you have to be able to, to you, you have to learn how to build the endurance and learn how to focus it on what you want. Next. Have you ever had time? Have you ever had a time? When you failed, when your willpower failed you, that should be the will should be capital. Have you ever had a time when your when when your will failed you? Yeah, I had one of those. Ooh, man, I could I could write about that. What was similar about those situations? What can you learn from those situations to strengthen your will? What is one thing that you can do to build a stronger community? You'd be like, well, hey, what that got to do with Will? I'm talking about because Ujima is collective work and responsibility, and hopefully what we collectively working on is building a community, and I'm talking about the importance of Will when it comes to Ujima. We have to be able, when, it talk, when we're talking about Ujima, we're talking about us working together. Now, what we build is a collective Will. So if everybody in the collective is burnt out, the will of that collective is going to be weak and people could break through the will of that collective and conquer and submit that collective to their own will. As a matter of fact, where my phone at? Where my phone at? Once again, let's go back to, let's go to a quote from the Godfather. Um, you know, I re recently listened to it again and I got a quote from it. I tried to share it last night. Um, here we go. Now, I keep on I go I keep going back to the scene, the major scene in the Godfather, where Salozzo is trying to propose the drug deal to Don Corleone, Vito Corleone. And Vito Corleone turns it down. Now, the reason Salazzo had or the Turk had um Vito Corleone killed was this. Is this is what he said? He said by your by your father not allowing me to get his money and to use the influence, he basically was telling me that I could not ply my trade. And he says, I am a man that respects myself. And I cannot allow, I cannot allow another man to impose his will on me. Right? In there, in there, you have an individual who maybe not is it, the 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 dope piece, blah blah blah. But the point that he's making is he respects himself and he will not allow another man's will, that key word, will to be imposed upon him. Many of us have allowed others' wills to be imposed on us. As a matter of fact. We strengthen their will because we take the little will power we have and we direct it towards their goals. And now the only thing we say with Ujima 
is to collect is to collectively direct our will rather than working for others to collectively work it to collectively send it in the direction of building up something for us right so when i say what is one thing that you can do to build a strong community it lines up perfectly with what we're talking about today uh, next question what is a major struggle you have faced in your life and the last one what is the hardest thing you have ever done all right now um where we at we have 14 minutes all right um so now let me give you uh uh seven tips to help you um build up your willpower all right here we go avoid distractions many <laughs> distractions family now, one of the things I learned a long time ago was if you don't want the butter to melt, don't put it next to the fire. There's certain things that there's certain things in certain places that Brother High Tim will not go because I already know what's gonna happen. Experienced enough of life to know what I can handle and what I can't handle. Right? So I don't expose myself to places where I will have to use an extreme amount. A willpower when I go through my phases I'm not smoking I stay away from the hookah lounge because uh, uh, after watching all these people smoke for a certain amount of hours because when I go to the hookah lounge I don't go to the hookah lounge for Tim and you know I, I I used to spend at least four to five hours in the damn hookah lounge you'd be like damn hot Tim well I go there I take my computer and um, I work on Giame. I work on um, my books. I work on new ideas, right? I, I work on new business concepts. I do shows. I have done whole shows up in a hookah lounge. You understand what I'm saying? So it ain't just me sitting around kicking, kicking the shit. Now, some of my friends do come, right? We shit. Hell, we used to hold court up in the hookah lounge. You understand what I'm saying? But when I'm not when I'm when I'm not smoking, when I'm on my non-smoking thing, I can't go. I already understand. I already understand. Set realistic goals. Number two, set realistic goals. Right? Some of us drain our willpower because we're trying to do the impossible. But remember, I already say, I know y'all, some of y'all out there smart saying, brother, I tell you, you say it is only impossible until it's done. And I agree. Right? The next one is going to take care of that. Set realistic goals that you can make. Now, break down difficult tasks into manageable chunks. You could do the impossible tasks. I ain't saying don't have an impossible. Um, I ain't going to say, I, when I say um, um, set realistic goals, okay, boom. Now, let's say you want to set one of those impossible goals. Can you break that impossible goal into realistic smaller goals? Can you break it up into chunks? Break down difficult tasks into manageable chunks, so that you don't burn your, um, you, you don't burn yourself out. All right, you don't burn out your willpower. I got seven of them keeping with them Guza Saba. Number four, consistency is key. Small steps are easier to achieve than giant leaps. Your small change to make a large change in your life. Your small change to make a large change in our community. Break down difficult uh, consistency, right? If it comes fast, it don't last. If it comes slow, it's good to go. All those is, is Giami terms that the young people that, and some of the older people that's been around me for a while, they hear all the damn time. If it comes fast, it don't last. If it comes slow, it's good to go, right? Small steps. Your small change to make a large change in the community. Consistency. And being willing to take small steps. Because those small steps are a lot easier than, you know what I'm saying, than, than, than trying to do the big ones. The big ones exhaust you. Um, five, being aware of your willpower can help you keep on the right track. Knowing when your willpower is weakening and being able to go on and change to something that don't require you to burn that mental resource. That don't require you to burn it. Turn to something else for a minute until you rest it up, and then you go back. Like I said, you got to build up your stamina. You got to know when it's time to stop. 
it's not a bottomless pit. It's not a bottomless thing where I'm going to just, um, no, you need to take breaks every now and then. Um, being, um, number six, ask for help when needed. When your willpower may not be enough on the task, you reach out to your tribe, you reach out to your family, you reach out to your good friends to help you pull through. Sometimes, see, because sometimes, I think what some people are looking for, they're looking for a boost in their will when they reach out to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what some of us was designed to do. You know what I'm saying? Give people boost in will. Ask for help when needed. You know, and get some other will energy in there or get some will energy pushing you to where you need to go. And... Number seven, have fun along the way, all right? Have fun along the way. So those are my seven points. And anime, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. Can you handle that for me, baby, please? Oh, man, she done did it. She done blew the horn. Time is up. And here we go. Can I get my theme music? I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. Thinking all the time, you're damn right. And as we see in Giami class dismissed, now get the hell up out of here. All right, so, 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 um, all right, we still live, so, I, cause you know, after after a while, I start dropping. I'm like, what's going on? All right, let me put this back on the charger. So, you got that? I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. Those of you that was keeping notes in your Goose Saba Challenge book, those of you that's keeping notes, right? Um, I'm going to give you an opportunity to go on and... I don't know. Do you? <laughs> do you? I'm going to give you the opportunity to, to build up. Do you? Um, give you a minute um, to get yourself together. Give me a second to get, get myself together. And then um, we will continue and we will do the toast. All right. Minute by minute. Minute, minute by minute. minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. 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 If it is to be, if it is to be, it's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. I feel good about the people around me. I feel good about the people around me. I feel goodness all around me. I feel goodness all around me. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. Cause I walk with good. Cause I walk with good. And I talk with good. And I talk with good. And I am good. Let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Black people. Black people. You were once great. You were once great. You shall be great again. You shall be great again. Lose not faith. Lose not faith. Lose not courage. Lose not courage. Go forward. Go forward. Uplift the race. Uplift the race. Harambe. 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 Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. The original man and woman on the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters to total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. 
Because it's very important that we realize that that's what we do here on the journey. We we celebrate, we celebrate um, our culture. We celebrate our ancestors. We celebrate our connection with um, with with our ancestors and the, and the Creator. Um, Every morning, that's what we do. We gather and we do it. Um, for those of you that want to add your ancestors to our daily toast list, um, it's a very simple process. Go to gnj.media, um, and there's a line at the bottom of the screen where you are able to put in your email address to click follow, or you could go to giamijourney.com, and if you are on your desktop on the left-hand side, the, at the top of the screen, you'll see a place where it says follow Giami Journey. You enter your email address, click follow. If you are on your cell phone, there's three bars that you could click and it will drop down in the screen and you'll be able to click it and move and, and do do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Type in your email address, follow Giami Journey. You'll get a confirmation email. Once you get that confirmation email and you say, yes, I want to receive the email from Giami Journey, on a daily basis, we're gonna be sending stuff into your e uh, into your email. Now, that will allow you to communicate with us. We'll be able to uh, communicate back and forth, and you will be able to uh, send us information. You can ask us questions. You can do whatever you want, but most importantly, you can tell us in the most quickest and the direct direct fashion that we um, that you have somebody you want to add to the ancestor list. You can put in the subject head. Um, uh ancestors hashtag ancestors add ancestors to the list add my ancestors to this and boom just put the ancestors in there we'll get them we add them to the list and within the within the next seven days they will be on the the list in in the um in the upcoming week okay so now let's go and do this toast we're gonna do this toast also if anybody 
is interested in anything uh, Giamme related, you know what I'm saying? You go on there, you can ask questions and do all that stuff, right? You can re you really get to interact with us at Giamme Journey. Also, I am really starting to love this Telegram thing. So y'all can go and get with us on Telegram because I'm going to start doing some stuff on Telegram too. Yes, yes, y'all. And you don't stop, right? All right. So let's lift it up. Got that ginseng in me. Get the, I think that I think that would help me make it through the day yesterday because I was wore out when I woke up. Um, I've been having nightmares about the sand pile. Those you, you you know, if you're not from Akron, you don't know because I used to live across the street from the sand pile and I could walk through the sand pile at all times of night. But in the last few years, walking through the sand pile in my dreams has been very dangerous. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know what, the, I, don't, I don't have to look into that. But anyway, we lift up our glass. We salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call the creator. We lift up the glass and we salute and we say the word of power, Ashe. From their family, we lift up our ancestors. We lift up our ancestors, saluting our ancestors. We lift them up high because we already do it. We do it every morning, 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to join us on all of our streaming platforms. We lift up our glass, we salute, and we say, Ashe. When their family moved to the present moment, family, we are in the moment of Ujima. Family, I ask you to open up your red ticket formation and seek out Ujima. I ask you to use your willpower to help fortify us in the building of our tribe, in the building of our nation, in us coming together. Do we have the willpower to stay together? Do we have the willpower to make it through the hard times? Do we have the collective willpower building up so that we can start not allowing those that don't deserve to even be in our presence, you know what I'm saying, to help them, to give them more motivation to stay the hell up out the circle, right? So for those that don't speak the language, Ujima means collective work and responsibility. Um, we lift up um, our glass, and of course, you know, we salute. But then um, also the modic principle of the day is righteousness. The M7 of the day is respect. The color is blue, as you can see by the shirt. You go to uh, merch.gnj.media, and you go and plug in, and you can get that Daily Toaster shirt. Just look for the Daily Toaster line. Um, we got vibration. That's the hermetic principle of the day. We got male. We got the male name for the day. We got Kwaku, female name. We got Akua. We lift up our glass, we lift up our glass, and we say the words of power. As long as we recognize what we're supposed to be doing in this moment, our our, ch our children will always be all right. Family, our whole history, our whole future is in the hands of those that's in the present. And the question, the only question that you have, have to wrestle with is, what are you doing with your present? We're lifting up the glass and we say, Ashe. And we toast our children, our children's children onto infinity. We lift them up high. We toast them in advance so that they can toast us when it's our time. We lift up our glass. We say, I shame. And from their family, we lift up our glass and we are going to salute um, those family members, um, those tribe members who are in need of health who are in need of that balanced health energy that we can send out because we've been amassing this energy for years so we can send out that that health energy we want to lift up um, um those members those tribe members those family members that may be in need of it and coming to mind we got brother Quasi, we lifted him up um we got elder tony we lifted him up we got elder Illumina, we lifted him up we got um um elder uh debbie Bowie, we lift her up and we say I shame. We start. We started with the creator. We end with the creator. And of course, we say, I shame. I shame. I shame. Family, wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years, as we say in Giami Ket in, because you know this is our thing. This is our thing. And last but not least, family. You know I got to say, too black.
Get your life together if you don't know what it is. Get your life together. It's a response. You're supposed to respond. But anyway, um, I want to thank those of you that took time to tune in. I'm going to sip on this and get ready to get out here and start my marvelous adventure. So if we could, uh, anime, you DJ in the Simba. Who, who, who DJ in the day? Okay, Simba, can you play that? Uh, can you give me the exit music, please? Mr. Diddy.